I'm Jim. I'm Rinda. We're the Wilsons. And this is Hardiness Approach. So sugar is something that America loves. It's something the world loves, but America loves it a little bit more than the rest of the world. When you go down and look at other countries, you can see how many teaspoons of a, a day is average for them. For Americans, it is 40 teaspoons a day that is the average American, what the average American eats. So that is what Jim is doing right now, is measuring out 40 teaspoons for you. So one of the biggest sources that we do consume sugar with is sodas. 32 ounce soda, or two and a half cans of soda, which is the same amount, is equivalent to the amount of sugar that he is putting in here right now. So I'm going to set him by. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 40. This is the amount of sugar in one 32 ounce um, soft drink. Soft cup of soft drink. Now, don't even say, well, then I drink my diet because I can give you a bunch of stuff bad about the diet stuff too. But we're just talking about sugar right now. So there is an ad that we're going to show you that was put out by 7up. And during this ad was to show what a wholesome, wonderful drink this was to put in our baby bottles and our baby's cups. This is an ad that came out when we were babies. When we were babies. So we've been doing this wrong for a very long time. So not all sugar comes from a spoon like this. There are at least 600,000 items that sugar is added to and disguised so we don't know it or don't want to think about it. Let's take this label right here which is off of a bakery item. There are 57 different names that I know of that have to do with what sugar is called. All these different items that sugar is called. So food companies have to start by at the top of the label and put the highest ingredient amount of that food in there first. So if it starts out with water and sugar, you know you've got syrup. But they don't want it to appear that sugar is in there at the highest level. So they will put in honey, um, dextrose. De dextrose, they'll put in fructose, they'll put in so cane sugar, pure cane sugar, you know, and they'll name all these different things and throw them down a little at a time. This particular label has sugar listed in it eight different times as you go through a different type of sugar. So you know that there's sugar in these items. So the amount of sugar that we eat, this amount right here, is a little three, three and a half pounds. In a hundred years ago, we ate, well we didn't eat, but people ate about a little over four pounds, or right at four pounds, and so that would be a, a little, year. a year, so that would be this, a little bit more than this, in one year. This is not even ten pounds of sugar, yeah, it's right at ten pounds of sugar. And so the average now for Americans to eat using our conservative of 40 teaspoons a day is 120 a year. Ex 120 pounds. 120 pounds a year. Experts are actually saying that Americans are more up to 150 to 170 a year. So it's going to be like 35 to 40 half gallons of sugar. So the table's pretty filled with sugar that we eat in a year. Um, that's an extremely sobering amount of sugar and a sobering idea to think of no wonder we've got the disease we've got. Now remember this has one teaspoon in it, so I'm going to add a half a teaspoon. 
So one and a half teaspoons a year would be a day. Oh, one and a half teaspoons a day. One and a half teaspoons a year would be amazing. <laughs> one and a half teaspoons a day would be amazing. That would mean if you think you are eating less than five pounds of sugar in a year, this is all the sugar you would be having. Probably not possible. Unless you're eating no processed foods, maybe you could be doing that. But if you're eating processed foods, you're in denial. I gotta tell you, you're getting a lot more sugar in and you don't even know it. So our processed foods have so much sugar in them that that are hidden fruit, hidden hidden sugar. And we are in denial when we pick up something and eat it. So we have this lovely, lovely dessert right here. It's a little tart. It's got lots of really healthy fruit on it and a little bit of gel stuff. So I have this. Well, who would like to eat this with me? You want to eat it with me? Ah, uh, okay. So I have this bottle. Oh, yeah, it's poison. But, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just going to put a little bit of this poison on here. You know, it's not too much. Just a little bit of poison. So, now do you want to eat it with me? So, a spoonful of sugar does make the medicine go down. What? Is that really poison in that bottle? Well, it's sugar. And I believe that sugar is poison when it's not used appropriately. You know, the... Dosage determines the poison. That's true. So a little bit of sugar may be okay. A lot of sugar, deadly. So one teaspoon a day or 40 teaspoons a day or more. You determine. Thanks for joining us.